Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're going to talk about resource management when it comes to the new console feature in Luna. Let's jump into it. All right, so we're in Luna here, and I wanted to go over this because I heard about it in the office hours, and it's a quick one, but it's it's super important to just know, okay? As you're setting up, for instance, your mixing, your recording templates like I got here, you're going to want to, you know, understand a little bit about the resource side of the console. Every individual piece and component with inside your consoles and your summing, uh, your bus like compression is going to actually independently use uh, CPU resources. So what do I, what do I mean by that? Okay, first off, um, if you look at, for instance, one of my buses here, this all melody or all drums, you know, right now they're disabled. And by default, I have them disabled in my mixing template. One, because I also want to enable them and, and monitor them independently after I get my game staging done, but I want them ready to go. And two, because I don't want to use the resources up front if I decide maybe I don't want to use this as my compressor. So uh, when you actually enable it, that's when it's going to start using CPU resources. Now, if I were to go over to the console, which has more going on, let's make this a little more just visually simple to look at. Let's just narrow this down with some spill. So we have uh, these four tracks here to work with. We have hook, verse, doubles, and ad libs. So if we were to toggle over at input, the line amp is always engaged because there is no on and off button. So for every track that you have this on, it's going to actually automatically use some CPU resources for the line amp. So if you are using an older PC, you want to think about, you know, how much you're using there in terms of uh, CPU. If you're starting to get really, you know, high on your render count um, uh, within your mix, your sweep filtering, your gate, expansion, your compressor slash limiter, your EQ, they all have an on and off switch. And when you enable it, that's when it starts to use CPU resources. So just something to think about, you may not want to just enable everything right out of the gate if you're not using it, enable it as you're going. And that way you're keeping your, your CPU uh, resource usage at a minimum. Um, just really simple, but some small key tidbit of information that I feel everyone should be aware of because, you know, this may become relevant to you as you're mixing some track at some point. Um, so, yeah, and from my perspective, the way I set up my template, I'll put everything in that I feel like I would need, but I won't enable it right away, especially considering that um, I don't want my EQ and my, you know, compression to be enabled right away because uh, I want to gain stage and I don't want to, you know, push you know, volume really heavy into a compressor that I don't realize what setting it's on. And it starts to compress the sound in a way. And maybe I'm not paying attention. And I'm like, why is this sound weird? And I'm trying to figure it out for a while. I'd rather enable it. And the second I enable it, see that the compression is way off from where I want it to be. But anyways, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments, ask a question if there's something you want to know. And otherwise, have yourself a great day. Peace, y'all.